Now to an announcement of sorts from Mayor Dave Bing. Bing decides to take the first steps towards seeking a second term. There has been a lot of speculation as to whether he would run again or not. It's been a rough four years for the city and for the mayor. You've watched him sit through meeting after meeting like this one. We're on top of this story. 7 Action News reporter Jim Kirchner was there for the mayor's announcement today. And Jim, he's not made a decision yet to run, right? That's right, Jeff. This is the first step so he doesn't get shut out of the process. Dave Bing says he's had a very rough time during tough times in this city, more than we know. Um, this is a huge decision for anybody that's going to run. If you haven't been here, you've got no idea what it's like, even in good times. And these are not good times. I mean, you're talking a minimum of, of 60 to 70 hours a week, 24-7. Um, um, you have to give up your personal life. Dave Bing at the city clerk's office, signing out petitions to run for re-election. He needs only a minimum of 500 signatures of registered Detroit voters to file back here by the deadline of May 14. Bing is 69, and he says he thinks Detroit's turnaround will happen at a faster pace with the emergency manager now running the city with more power to fix the $300 million short-term debt and the $14 billion long-term debt. And um, I'm at a point in my life where I'd like to enjoy some of it. I have not been able to enjoy this four years because of the circumstances. But now with things starting to turn and move a little faster, uh, you potentially can get some enjoyment out of moving the needle forward. And here's an indication how strange this race can get. We just confirmed with the city clerk's office that Sam Riddle has taken out petitions to run for not only mayor, but city council. You'll recall Sam was convicted, along with former city council member Monica Conyers, in a federal bribery case. He got out of prison last year, and a total of 63 people have taken out petitions to run for mayor. Only three have returned them with the necessary signatures. That's Mike Duggan, Tom Barrow, Lisa house the rest of them have until may 14th joanne jeff yeah, jim you mentioned sam riddle a convicted felon really wasn't there talk about changing the city charter that a, that a felon couldn't hold office that's still an open question i just talked with the city clerk she says she has a question about the legality of sam riddle running as a candidate she's going to get the answer from state elections officials all right we look forward to getting that answer from you as well when you learn it thank you so much